Hello survivors, normally we announce this as the State of Decay 2 stream, but today we're going to change things up. Uh, we just released update 25, the Plague Territory update, that's in all of your hands right now, but we haven't announced the next thing that we're working on. So during this little dry patch, we've decided to check in with our sister studio, Obsidian, and see what's going on in Grounded. So uh, without further ado, let me introduce our guides uh, to this game today. Uh, first off, here's Eric uh, Dorabella. He is a community manager over at Obsidian. How are you doing, Eric? I'm doing fantastic, Jeff. Thanks for having us on today. I've been uh, really looking forward to playing with you guys again. Well, I've been looking forward to playing with you because you have got the most amazing world set up. Uh, we're playing in, in Eric's world today that uh, that you know he uses a lot on, on you guys' uh, actual stream. You bring in a bunch of content creators and they make all kinds of crazy monuments and forts and bathrooms and all kinds of things. So <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the audience getting to see what is possible in this game. Uh, in addition to Eric, we've also got riding shotgun today, uh, Shyla Schofield. She is a social media manager over at Obsidian. Uh, wait, I, I said you're riding shotgun, but have the micro kids actually invented shotguns yet, or is that not a thing? Not, not yet. <laughs> yeah, crossbows, we'll though, right? Crossbows? We do. So I don't have any of those yet, unfortunately, but uh, it's good to have you both. Thank you so much for showing up here today. Hey, oh, it's been a pleasure. I have been so excited. It's been fun. I really can't wait to see how you guys like um, our little, I guess, side of horror in this genre. <laughs> so. Well, speaking of horror, I should introduce our third guest. Uh, so uh, you all know Lucy Tibbetts. Uh, she is a designer here at Undead Labs and largely responsible for the uh, Outpost upgrade and several other features that are fan favorites. And horrible puns. That's why the uh, horror was the, you know. Yeah, exactly. So, so the reason that we invited Lucy on to this particular stream today, uh, oh, maybe a Lucy should explain. Uh, how do you feel about spiders, Lucy? Uh, I really don't like them. I really don't like them, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> I will be playing with the. Um, uh, sorry, I just threw my club by accident. Oh, no. Not out of range of spiders, I promise. But <laughs> they'll be the spiders will be floating orbs for me today because I cannot stand the legs. I cannot stand the pincers. Uh, <laughs> Everything else is, you know, most of these other bugs are fine. It's just not spiders. So we should actually just, you know, for the sake of everyone getting to see what Lucy is seeing, I should actually pop open my options and I should switch over to arachnophobia safe mode. So uh, look away, Lucy. I'm going to show the spider preview so everyone can see what's going to happen <laughs> right. here. So uh, if I slide this to the right, we start removing legs, all the legs, pincers, proportions, and basically we're making this look as little like a spider as possible, uh, which is appropriate because we're actually, oh wait, I forgot to apply changes. Yes, please apply my, my changes. So uh, today we're going to be looking specifically at a lot of the stuff that is new to Grounded, because Grounded is still in early access, and they've been improving this game at a rapid pace. Uh, and so one of the things we're going to see today is probably an enormous weird spider. Uh, am I right about that, Shyla and Eric? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's gonna. Well, in your perspective, it's gonna be like a giant blob. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, my... uh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say one of my favorite things about the trailer for this update was the fact that you showed not just the original Broodmother, but also its blob version, so everyone could see what they were getting into. Yeah. I really appreciated that. No, it was good. That was a fun trailer to make, and I love uh, blobs. A great name, but some people in our community have started calling them danger dumplings. Oh which my I god! Think it makes I love them it. sound like real cute, but also like dangerous if that's possible. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's like danger noodles, right? It's sort of the uh, yeah, oh, the, the corollary for snakes. Yes. <laughs> oh, we got um, our our pet weevil here. If you want to check him out. Oh yeah. Yeah. I saw him. I could pet him. I was this so excited. Guy. Yeah, you can, you can pet this little guy. We haven't named yet because we haven't finished building the uh, pet house, which then you can look at your pet stats, personalities, uh, and rename them. So right now he's just, uh, he's just, well, eventually he'll be Walter the Weevil, but right now he's just Weevil. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you've already chosen the name. It's just not official yet. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he was vibrating. He was so excited to see us. That was great. <laughs> he's so excited. Look at him. <laughs> Cool. So, so do you want to sort of, uh, for the sake of the audience, a lot of the folks watching our stream uh, are folks who have, uh, who probably, who possibly have never played Grounded, who mostly are here for State of Decay 2. Do you want to give them just sort of the quick high level pitch of like what we're going to be seeing today? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to show off the Shroom and Doom update that uh, went out uh, two weeks ago. And um, so we introduced uh, new things like the Broodmother, who's uh, the, our, the first boss uh, in Grounded. Uh, we also incorporated mushroom buildings. Uh, so and if you want to run over to our guest house from uh, Tiny Pirate, 
gaming, I added like uh, an armory here. So I'm using oh, the, yeah. the mushroom bricks and our brand new, I like to call them the Hobbit doors, which are my favorite. <laughs> Those are great. Uh, and you can see the, we have a blueprint system. Um, so I'm laying out the, the foundations for the feather roofing, which is also new uh, to this update. Oh. So we said, so well, are we going to have so to order we, some birds? Uh, well, the the crow is insanely ginormous, so you can't really, you can't attack it, but uh, it does drop feathers throughout the backyard in some designated areas. So you can harvest the feathers, and then you can craft like your crossbow, you can feathered arrows, or these feather roofs. We'll have to keep an eye out for more feathers. Yep, and then uh, what else? We added pets, as you can see, uh, Walter and Weevil here, and we're in the process of building the pet house so we can rename him, and you can check out their stats and personalities. Uh, we also, in, in, so we used to have where you can grow tiny mushrooms into the game, but now you can grow all sorts of things like, Oh yeah, uh, there's huge mushrooms that I can see over here. Yeah. So we're growing these big mushrooms here, which you can harvest and chop down. Uh, you can also use, uh, you can, instead of, uh, you can also do sprigs, uh, or grass fibers, uh, among other things. And what else did we add, Shyla? Uh, oh, well, place. we added... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying this place is crazy. I'm remarking to my, I'm just talking to myself. Yeah. Go ahead, Shiloh. No, 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 no. You can gush about this place all you want. That's perfectly <laughs> fine. I'm here for it. No, but two things that we did add in this update were huge community requests. And I know the team is so excited to give them. And the first one is sitting. As silly as that sounds, everyone wanted to be able to sit. I mean, you got chairs. So now we can sit, which is awesome. And the second thing that they have been asking for that we were finally able to implement are achievements. Oh, so now if you are playing, yeah, you can collect your own achievements. I believe it's still going on. We are one of the featured Xbox Game Pass quests this month. So if you hop in the game, we're on Xbox Game Pass, download it and do one achievement, you'll get three times the points. So that was kind of fun. It's been a lot of the achievements are great. We have some great names for them. I can't say them all because some of them are secret. So you're going to have to figure it out. Hopefully you'll get it to pop off. Oh, I have just fallen into the water because I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, so but part of my problem is I've been playing a ton of Subnautica Below Zero, which is sort of mm -hmm. lately has been my survival game of choice, which means that all of my assumptions about what my buttons do are going to be completely wrong while I'm playing this game. I would be trying to hit A to interact with things, Y to jump. It's going to be a disaster. So uh, everyone enjoy looking, uh, watching me uh, completely fail at playing this game. It adds a whole level of surprise, I guess, for uh, your side. You're, <laughs> you're going to see me jumping furiously at things that I want to interact with. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Uh, so I should mention, by the way, so usually during our stream, we spend the entire time uh, paying attention to the chat and uh, funneling questions uh, to our guests. This time, we're going to try to change things up. We're actually going to do this stream in a couple of segments. This first half hour, uh, Eric and Shyla are going to take us on a trip uh, to sort of see what we can see and maybe get into a little bit of trouble, maybe with the brood mother. Uh, and then after that, about halfway through, it doesn't have to be precise, uh, we're going to switch over to a Q&A segment where we're going to go through all of the questions that folks in the chat have asked and uh, you know, send them to you and, and and see what the answers are so the first half is going to be run by the obsidian folks second half is going to be run by the audience so if you do have questions about grounded that you want to ask shyla and eric please do keep those questions coming you can start right now we'll keep track of them all and we'll go back through and uh, and ask those questions as we go but for right now let's go get into some trouble like what what, what do you want to do folks um well well uh, usually what how we do things is uh we, we decide let our guests decide when they come to our world so we have uh so when we stream on wednesdays and we have like a content curator or a guest uh we kind of leave it up to them uh some people add buildings to leave the landmark into the save like we have that floating gazebo the guest house uh this whole base has been like a magulation of a whole <laughs> bunch of people helping us build this weirdly shaped base um, yeah, this thing is crazy. So, so you guys, so you guys stream every week with different content creators, and they just get to leave their impact on this world that you have. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I imagine this it, is actually part of the world right here. This uh, this giant uh, rash uh, rash action figure. But yeah, the, rash is uh, as a landmark in the game. So uh, you, you build around him pretty much. <laughs> that's how usually in in games that allow a lot of building. That's usually my the thing that I want to do is I want to find something in the world that's sort of like is a reference point and then build around it and and it sort of it, for some reason it may, helps me feel a little bit responsible for the landmark as well. I know that like in in say like Fallout 4, you know, it was it was I built my my base around one of the gas stations. So it looked like I had built a gas station when really I just built some platforms around the thing. I have to applaud your guys' level design, too, because in the early game, when I just started out today, like there, there's these three little laser nodes that you've used to 
mm-hmm. complete a couple of the quests and they point to an area at the center. So it, I've been using those as a point of reference and it's just very, like the whole map can be, you can kind of like look up and see basically where you are without even looking at your mini map because of the, all the, the unique uh, landmarks that they have that are visible from the sky. Yeah, I think, I think the team does a great job doing that. Sorry, Jeff. No, 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 no. You go ahead. You, people also, they do a good job of uh, to show landmarks so you can, you know, orientate yourself in the map since the backyard is quite large. Um, I mean, we do have the, the the map so you can get a better situation where you are. But yeah, so sometimes you just need to look up to, to, to find out where you're going. Yeah. One of my favorite things is the way you've sort of like blurred out a lot of the stuff in the background. So like if I want to focus on the stuff that's my scale, it's really easy to sort of to, to keep my focus there on the things that are that are in focus. But if I need to get a bigger sort of uh, reference uh, as to where I am, I just sort of like it almost feels like I'm just like shifting my perspective in my head. I'm being like, oh, wait, the trees there, the house is there. You know, the, the little laser thing is right there. And I could sort of like without needing to check a map, I can kind of orientate myself uh, a lot better. This is it's, it's a really clever design. No, I just want to say thank you for that because, yeah, as Eric said, the team's been working hard on that and trying to find ways to make sure that it just feels right. So that that means a lot. So thanks. <laughs> so the thing I really would like to see is an enormous blobby broodmother. So so how do, if somebody Ooh, yes. wants to see the blue broodmother, what do they need to do? Oh, um, definitely gear up, which uh, everyone has. So it's, mm-hmm. um, if you got enough, there should be an armory. Uh, so just taking some bandages as well. So the bandages heal over time uh, where the the smoothies um heal directly um and then so you guys are already geared up which is good mm-hmm. and <laughs> got ladybug so, armor on which i imagine normally would take us a while to earn up to the point where we're actually able to build it ourselves if we, if this was our game instead of yours yeah so you would probably start off with acorn armor which is the easiest to get which is by the oak tree mm-hmm. uh and then the ladybug armor yeah you you have to work your way up there because uh they're they are quite durable and they hurt <laughs> do we want to try fighting some regular spiders first just to get the feel for it because since me and jeffrey are both relatively new at that mm-hmm. it might be good to try just a regular one before we take on the mother of all spiders of course um before we go have you guys grabbed uh any canteens yet so we can have some oh, water yeah. on, on the way so oh, if you yeah, go I to do this not have any canteens where do i get those go into the house next to the workbench where our uh chest Armory is on the bottom right one. is like a weird blob with a tiny little circle on the bottom. You could grab some canteens. Uh, I think. They should there's, be pre-filled. There's, yeah, there's two canteens, so at least cool. one for each of us. It'll be fine. I like how you guys are avoiding race conditions by letting us... Um, oh, wait, this is the canteen right here. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, wait, I just grabbed the entire stack because I'm terrible at this. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> Deposit one. Wait, I'm pushing the Y button. What? Oh, no, no. Yeah. It's no, no. it's one object. It just has two, oh, it's got two uh, consumables. Oh, drops in it. Okay. Two drops of water. That makes yeah. sense. So, yeah, you see, you see, I'm a total noob at this game. So this is going to be really fun watching me fumble my, my way through it. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I've got a canteen then, and I can drink twice from it. Excellent. Yep. All right. Oh. And then it is getting dark. I don't know if you guys want to sleep. That means we have to eat and drink again. Or I mean, it's going to be dark in there anyways. So. If well, if we're just, just going to go into generic to spider it. trouble right now, maybe we just do oh, that's right, that's right. dark, and then we'll save yeah. the broodmother for when it's a little bit brighter. I don't know. <laughs> how Ooh, how fast then... is the day-night cycle in your game? About 30 Ooh. minutes, right? Because yeah, ours, ours is 90. I think so. And so uh, and so people, once, they get, once it gets to be nighttime, they feel like it's night forever. And so you guys have gone for a much faster uh, cycle, which makes a lot of sense. Uh yeah, and let's see. Let me let me craft some torches. If we're gonna go yeah. fight some spooters. Just have... thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> and then Eric, do you have any uh, BLT tributes? Oh, I should. Spider mother tributes. We probably have to put mix them and put them in the oven. What are those? Brood mother. Yeah, she she likes the uh, the BLTs that we make in the game, and so we like to leave her one as tribute to lure her out, so that way we can harvest her. Oh, okay, so, yeah. so when you say BLT, does that stand for bacon, lettuce, and tomato, or is it something else? It's something else, but it's close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to pretend it's now. bacon. I'm just going to pretend it's bacon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let what is it, like bugs, see. lice, and termites or something? I don't know. Oh, gosh, that's even worse. <laughs> Were you the, <laughs> worse than I, that, that's worse of? than what I was thinking. <laughs> Oh, geez. Our mushrooms have completely taken over our uh, baking area. So, so oh, no. I, I love playing games that are... Or, That's or, not... Or playing yeah, that's... games or reading... What are you doing? She she, uh, she broke some stuff. Yeah! <laughs> I accidentally destroyed the garden instead oh. of the mushroom. 
Okay, that cool. happens, you know, it yeah. happens sometimes. We'll fix it later. Yeah, I really tend to like uh, like stories that are set in like biopunk universes, places where, you know, like stuff like, uh, I don't know, like the profit graphic novels or something where, you know, you just like, the technology isn't like shiny and slick. It's like sticky and nasty. It's like you stick alien <laughs> bugs on your face and stuff like that. If you want to breathe underwater or whatever. I love that kind of stuff. Cause it's so horrifying. I, I'm such a squeamish person. It, it gives me serious problems and, and it makes me happy. Um, but uh, one of the things that I, I realized recently is how much of that we actually have in real life. Like if anyone, you know, Wears silk clothing, for instance. You're basically wearing bug excretions. Um, if you eat honey, <laughs> you're eating bug vomit. Um, mm -hmm. And so we already do this. So, so like, you know, you get kind of grossed out by the stuff that the kids eat and wear in this game, but it's not that different from what we eat and wear in under normal circumstances in the actual world. So gives you a little bit of perspective, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, the... The BLT's in the oven cooking, so let's kill some uh, some smaller spiders and spiders. Okay, and then we'll come on back. I'm hey! following you. I craft the torch by any chance? I did not. Hold on, let me grab one. Oh, we can cross on on the soggy bridge. So let's go this way. Follow me. All right. Soggy bridge is really fun. <laughs> so uh, Obsidian Two is Eric, and Obsidian Not Two is Shyla. I believe is that right? Yes. Correct. Right over here. Yeah, so you guys, so you guys have so much cool stuff built here. Like, you know, this would normally just be like random wilderness, but you've turned it into civilization. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I like your. And then your water shader is cool, especially because the ripples are so much bigger than they would normally be. <laughs> yes, and that's what yes. makes the soggy bridge so fun. <laughs> if you get lost, this exploration point right here will bring you back to the start of the soggy bridge. Okay. Cool. Um, We've been trying real good to utilize uh, trail markers to help us find our way around as well. I'm just nice. gonna be following your icons. <laughs> yeah. All right. Lead the way. Let's see if we can get into trouble. Got to keep our eyes open for some enormous weird Punch. blobs. So I got to be careful because there's friendly fire in this game, right? Like if you're fight, if you're oh, fighting yeah. some little tiny bug, I should probably not come and swing my massive axe at it. I mean, you could. You know, it happens. Well, we can take turns. <laughs> Let's back off before the uh, next yeah, turn. but if you're if you're playing in mild mode, then uh, there isn't friendly fire. But we're playing in medium, so there is. I might run into a stinky friend. Yeah, I really like that because you know, I mean, people basically just all everyone has got sort of a different comfort level that you know with, with how they want to play a co-op game. Some people want it to be as hardcore Here as we go. possible, and some people just Here want it to go. be a friendly oh, game. There's the blobs. Bring in, I'm oh, bringing the so friends. Many blobs. There's many blobs. What the heck? Uh, I don't know what to do with this. Um, I feel like something hit me. That was weird. No. Okay, just, I just, don't even know what. Yeah, I get in there. There's three of them. <laughs> okay, so there's a venom, venom arrow in one of them. Venom yeah. Another one. Yeah, so that's one down. Oh, oh, something's attacked. Oh, I got a little guy attacking me. Hey there, buddy. Oh, you're so cute. Poisoned. Oh, All right. Now I will punch. All right. I really should switch to something more. Let me get these out of the way. They look like they're made out of honey. That's actually kind of, I don't know, really friendly. I like the flavor of our danger dumplings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Lucy, did that the, the the knowledge that those were spiders uh, have any effect, or 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 are these basically just absolutely nothing to you as far as your perspective? Is well, concerned? they're like the anxiety is there, especially because the webs are around and just the fact that it's like lurking in the distance. I've you know I I saw the Lord of the Rings movies as a kid, and so there's the, the, you know the knowledge that the giant spiders out there, it's it's a little intimidating. Once you finally see them, the edge is taken off, but it's a uh, it, like to the point where it's it's playable, and then it's just like you know the normal fear of dark space isn't in in a game kind of thing. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's actually it's I, I really appreciate the the approach you guys are taking to it, just because it's so many games out there just have giant spiders, <laughs> and <laughs> you guys are definitely the first one to like pay attention to that as something that that needs a a few options for people to be more to be more accessible. Yeah, I really love how the accessibility conversation has been shifting over time. So that, like, you know, far from just having sort of this standard list of accessibility features, like people are really thinking through. And I think I think Obsidian has really sort of blazed the trail here. People are really thinking through, you know, what could prevent someone 
from enjoying our game when they otherwise, like, you know, what, is there some simple thing that's preventing someone from enjoying our game when they otherwise would really love it and in theory would love to, to sort of live the fantasy of our game? And can we can we make this game accessible to them without just sort of cutting off a bunch of random people from, from enjoying something they otherwise could enjoy? And yeah, this is one of the best examples I've ever seen. You guys sort of going the extra mile uh, to, to sort of make this work. It sort of, set an ex it sort of set an example that I hope other developers will will think through, you know, and, and, and basically you're like, well, what, what is unique in my game? That, uh, mm -hmm. that that you know some people will not want to see, and and, and there, is there something I can do to to sort of alleviate that for players? It was really interesting during that time because we worked closely with Xbox. Our team did for that to do the research to see what made spiders scary to some people because it's not the same. Uh, what's what's scary for one person is scary for another. So they yeah. put together a whole bunch of research to figure it out and felt that they came to the best decision that they could obviously it's still a work in progress yeah. so if you have ideas we're welcome to it but they wanted to make sure like not only was it going to be less triggering but that it still gave you a sense of fear they didn't want the spiders or players to go in and then not feel that fear like oh it is supposed to be a big angry spider yeah, so it was like, trying to balance that like you want them to feel monster fear but not specifically the spider fear that causes them a certain yes. kind of very difficult anxiety so, yeah, so I thought that, that was really interesting. Yeah. We got some good research for that. So now I'm kind of like, okay, well, what else can we do in the future? Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, it is fascinating that there's just certain aspects of a spider oh. that have that have this sort of built-in fear for... Okay, uh, it's whoa. a big one. It's ah, a big yikes, one. Ow. Careful. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. I'm coming. That was, that was very bad for my health. I'm going to just get as far away from this as I possibly can. Oh, no. I'm dead. Not a dead. No. Fallen. I'll try to res you. If you oh. can, you know. <laughs> kind of obliterated. <laughs> so, should I just run? You can do this. We believe. <laughs> I'm right there. Okay. My health is decent. Yeah, my health is wearing... If you, if you really time low. the attack just right and you block, you can get a perfect block and mitigate all the damage. Oof. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> oh. oh. No. Where's Eric? I got 15 seconds. Okay. Oh, crap. Give me oh, alone. gosh, it took me again. I was going to try to venom it, but uh, that didn't work. <laughs> oh, oh pfft. I did not is, block. This thing is definitely <laughs> scary, uh, but not in a spidery way, just in a it can murder me way. I also appreciate that you make make a point to, like, differentiate them even when they're in, in blobby mode. Oh, yeah, the big yeah. red one matters. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, someone died. I'm sorry. I didn't res you in time. Uh, <laughs> Well, you're as me. That's what's important, right? So yeah, that's the no, important no, one. That's horrible. Okay, I will be back to grab my stuff. But okay. yeah, I didn't know. I like that seeing like the yellow danger dumplings versus the red. Uh, you get lucky, you'll see a little tiny white one. The baby spiders. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, they're they're adorable. <laughs> well, we need some time to let our bandages take effect, anyways. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. like to I like to flavor them. So like the orb weavers are like the banana danger dumplings. Oh. Uh, the the wolf spiders are uh, the brown sugar danger <laughs> dumplings, and the brood mother, I like to call her the, the mochi danger dumpling. Oh. <laughs> okay, so uh, after this, like uh, once we get sort of healed up and, and, and ready again, do we want to go after the big one? Go after the brood mother and see what we get from that? Yeah, let's do it. I should probably wear the proper Obsidian's gear. Obsidian's backpack. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'll be right there. Love it, because uh, now when you die, you get to keep everything that you had equipped, which makes mm -hmm. it so much easier to grab your stuff. Do we want to build a temporary spawn point so that we can run back? or? Uh, we have one already. Oh, wait, did you? No, I did not dismantle it okay. this time. I learned. <laughs> we have a, a lean to over by the Broodmother layer, so in case we okay. die, we'll just spawn right there. Excellent. Okay, it looks like Shyla's catching up to uh, to her backpack. Yeah, right All here. Right, let's head back to the Burgle mustache. Uh, ah. Get rest up, and then uh, we'll we'll make our way. We oh, there we go. There it is. Yeah, so that white explanation mark will get us back to the soggy bridge. Okay, cool. So we did get a request in the chat for us to turn off Spider Blob mode, and I'm not cool. gonna. 
so yeah, if you if you want to see sp the actual look of the spiders in this game, you should definitely. I mean, if you've got Game Pass, you should definitely download this game and give it a try. The spiders are scary, uh, and you should check them out. But we're definitely we're going we're going full arachnophobia mode uh, this particular this particular stream. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I like to have it on as well during our streams, just in case you know people do have the arachnophobia, and I don't want people to not tune in because of it. Well, something's trying to eat me. What is it? Oh, probably a mite. That's oh, a little mite. Oh uh, yeah. I, oh well, now I'm also stuck in a leaf. Uh, here we go. Yay! I'm out. Yay! Right. So apparently, we have three it's different battle things. music in the game. So, like when you hear that tiny little, like cutesy music, that's usually you're fighting something very small. It's oh. not really a threat to you. The uh, <laughs> we have music specifically for spiders, so people are aware uh, what insect they're fighting if in case something sneaks up on them. Uh, and then we have like our um, you know our general combat music for like ladybugs or bombardier beetles or mosquitoes. That is, that is this, really helpful. Yeah. That's another thing I, I found really helpful too, because as soon as the fast music plays, you know it's time to run. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um Oh, I just saw someone in chat ask if there's a third person. You're on a mouse and keyboard, right? Jeff? If there's a what? Say that again. Third person? You're on mouse and keyboard, right? Uh, no, I am I am in uh, totally on controller. Okay, then if you hit the, I think it's the start button, there's an option to switch your view if you want to go to third. Oh, interesting. And you can do that at any point in the game. Uh, some things are just easier to do in third person versus first. Like, I like fighting. Where is it in, in the game third? or display? Where is it? Oh, go back. It's the little, it's the left, like the start button. It's the. Oh, the select or share is button? Is it the select? That one. This I never one. know which Okay, one. got it. And then where do I. Oh, wait. Let's see. Or I am completely wrong. It is down on the D pad. I was completely wrong. Down yeah. on the D pad. Oh, down on the D pad? Okay. Sorry. I'm, and then you, I'm just sending an emergency see. message to my family to get my son to stop knocking on the door. Uh, oh, no, so, it's cute. <laughs> so down All right. And yes. Then, and then that top one right there. Uh, there we go. Toggle. Oh, okay. So now I can see the. Ah, what's happening? Oh, oh okay. Oh, I got, I hey. accidentally got my camera inside a ceiling. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe no, it's I been a while since. In here. I've picked up the controller, but I see them in chat helping out too. So, yay! <laughs> It's always nice if Eric and I don't know something. We we know we can just wait a few seconds and someone in our chat will be like, this is what you need to do. And oh, it's like, thanks, yeah, guys. Yeah, we are the same way. Whenever, <laughs> whenever I'm streaming like uh, on, on my personal stream, uh, there's always people in my chat who know my own game better than I do. And <laughs> they can tell me what to do. So it's yep, great. That's, it's always going to be a fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, do so you guys want to? Yeah. Let's go to sleep just real quick. So that way the hedge will just be easier to navigate because it's a lot of uh, jumping around. Yeah. And I, for one, am not good at that. The hedge is basically a, like a big platform level. And if you fall, you're in trouble. All right. I am attempting to sleep. Yay! Oh, I was the there last you one. You were all waiting for me. Great. It's all good. All right, here we go. Nice and clean. Gonna drink something real good. And then, uh, let's see here. I think I've got... All right, yeah. I'm going to need to send a broader message to more people in my family to get my son to stop knocking on the door. <laughs> yeah, just look at it this way. He's um, cheering you on. Yeah, yeah he's each, so excited. Yeah, each knock is uh, words of encouragement. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, oh my gosh, he's getting real serious. Uh, okay. okay, you know what? Uh, just one second. I've, I've got to uh, I've got to do something about this. Sorry. Take your time. In and, the meantime. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh man, I'm just having, I'm having every kind of disaster right now. Well. I have to take down my green phone to do it. It would look like garbage if I was still visible. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> In the meantime, I. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. You. Okay, green screen going back up. Excellent. Now he knows that he is not welcome to knock on the door. Hopefully that means he will stop sometime soon. And uh, <laughs> ah, that's how it goes, right? You know, we're all still working from home. Uh, we, you know, even though there's a lot of places that are, that are returning to the office, we actually managed to uh, make our studio like much larger during the pandemic. And so we can't go back to the office because the office is too small. So we're all still oh. working from home. And uh, that's just one of the things that happens when you're doing that. So there we go. Is everyone yeah. else ready to go fight a broodmother? Did you all get prepared yes. while I was distracted? 
That's right. Um, just getting, getting prepped. Uh, got our heals. Got our potions. Make sure you put them on your hot bar in case you gotta like quickly switch over. Tell me about putting things on my hot bar. <laughs> if you just go to your inventory. Oh. So okay, so if I can I just pick this up and put it on my hot bar like that? Oh, there we yeah. go. I think, yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. That was great. Um and so but I don't oh I think I don't actually have any I think I used all of my healing potions. This is my like health buffing potion, right? And I, I what I really need is something that will heal me if I get into trouble. Uh so are this there was some of that so, left. So your smoothie places, right? will also heal you but apply the buff. Oh okay. Oh, so it'll do I both. Could, okay. And then here's yep. some bandages. I should grab some of these. I can make some uh, basic question mark smoothies, and those would just straight up heal you. Oh, okay. That sounds great. You guys, I'll make a bunch right now, and you guys can yeah. grab those guys. So things sounds that good. I put in my hot bar, they end up on my wheel, right? Is that how that works? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yes. Okay. Cool. I think say where I think I gotta look around. I, by the way, your icon system is great. Like it's so much, it's so easy to find all the things that I need to find. Like if I need to chase down Eric, like it's pretty easy to find him in the world and then just run in the direction that he's in. Yeah, it's uh, it's it was a lot of uh, renditions, uh, you know, to, to make it happen. But even we have so many, the our community's like we need more icons, so we're, the team's doing their best <laughs> to like put more yeah. icons in the game. But yeah, a lot people of people love to it, organize. Just, it says a lot about sort of the focus of the team, right? That it's like you, you, there's a lot of different ways you can devote your focus when you're like improving a game. And it seems like you guys have, you know, your team has put a lot of effort into specifically like sort of the user experience, like right. trying to sort of when people are playing together and they've got all these little tiny headaches, it looks like you guys are putting a lot of effort into resolving those and, and sort of smoothing out the, the, the basic experience for players. Yeah, we're doing our best to like gain as much feedback as possible from players. Um, you know, in our Discord, we have a series of bots where uh, users could just go in, submit their suggestions, and then what we typically do is uh, there's a voting system. Mm -hmm. So uh, when it reaches a certain threshold, like 35 votes, uh, that's when I put it into my spreadsheet. And then uh, every week, me and Adam, uh, the community team, will have like a meeting discussing like, how are this is these are the suggestions that are most wanted uh, currently in the game. So. I did something incredibly stupid, which is I hit the take all button, not realizing that it literally every nice. single thing in the chest. So, <laughs> oh, dear. This is, yeah, again, you guys are, this is the experience of being a complete noob, joining friends, playing the game. A lot of people will have that experience, and this is what it looks like. I'm still having a good time, even though I'm looking like a complete idiot on the stream. It, hap it happens yeah. quite a bit. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I did it earlier today, so it's all good. Oh, good. Okay, I feel way, way less like a noob now that you told me that. Okay. Okay, uh, are we ready to go? Yeah, don't forget to hydrate uh, and yes. uh, good there. in real life too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. very important. Actually, it's hot, it's very it's hot today. It's hot in my office. I should turn on my little mini fan here that blasts uh, air in my face. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, cool. Yeah, we've been having like uh, we for a while we were having a really bad heat wave up in the Seattle area, and so like my yeah. wife bought like a bunch of extra little fans and things to make it make life more more livable. And sitting in here in my tiny office, just like surrounded by computer equipment, no matter what time of year it is, it gets really hot. So, mm -hmm. so what direction are we going, Shyla? I see that you're way across the pond over there. Yep, come to me. Okay, okay. I went. I went here just to make it easier for you guys to run over. Right. So just come to my icon. All right, I'm going to be swimming Ooh, I over. To swim. Yay! Oh, I like how you stick the bow in the left hand to just sort of like. Uh, quickly indicate that I can't be shooting things while I'm under here. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> little subtle yeah, well, things under, like that are great ways to sort of, yeah, communicate with the player. Especially underwater because players will players will try to shoot that bow underwater as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we've seen movies like Cliffhanger and stuff where it's all about shooting people from under the water. So, yeah. Oh, man. This is... I haven't seen this area yet. Ooh, like, yeah. I love the giant hedge. leaves. Welcome to the hedge. Yeah. yeah. I do not think of a hedge as looking like this, but absolutely this is what it would be at this scale. That's amazing. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I like what this game sort of does with your perspective. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys got dandelion tufts. Uh, no, if no, not, no. I did not do that. Okay. All right, well, be very careful that you don't fall because well, we, our dandelion tufts are like little gliders where you can float down in case you fall. Oh, okay, yeah, uh. that's going to be hilarious. But we'll we'll see what happens. <laughs> Come on this way. Ooh, I got one of those mutation things. Ooh, nice. 
Natural Explorer. Yeah, so you can hit uh, tab or uh, select and go to your status, and then you can check out your mutations and equip them. You can have th up to three uh, mutations equipped. Oh, wow. Okay. Like, yeah, Natural Explorer. Oh. Cool. Are those per player or like is it, I, they seem do seem to be per server? But like if I was to switch characters off of hoops, for example, would I still have the same mutations? Yeah. So if uh, it's all uh, save the world base. So if anytime you join my world, regardless of what character you select, uh, you'll have the same equipment and same mutations. Nice. Oh, that's cool. All right. So I'm go heading towards this jumping person over here. Yeah. Wee. Oh. So the brood mother is like buried up inside this uh, uh, this hedge. Oh, you yes. know what, Charlie? Did you grab the BLTs? Oh, I did not. I can go All do right. that if you want to lead them that way. All right. I got a tuft. Oh, well. Okay, goodbye, everyone. Have fun. Little, Baby spiders. Little tiny spiders. Yeah. So <laughs> Should definitely switch. These the ones are the hardest to kill. They're so small and hard to hit. Is it, it's just you hard guys to hit them might at all? be on your own fighting them too, because I just fell down three branches. I'm alive and I'm <laughs> I have health, but. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Here we go. Oh, are those blueberries? Up there, what 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 are these berries? Yeah, this, uh, these are berries from the hedge, and are they uh, uh, you can't eat them raw, but you can use them in a smoothie. You can uh, turn them into leather, so you can craft armors or the berry leather chair. There's berry leather. Oh, I love that. Yep. <laughs> Let me pull out my torch so you can. So I'm like a, a beacon. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm stepping on the right branches this time. <laughs> Okay, so if it's going to take us a while to get the BLT back here, maybe we should actually switch into Q&A mode and have the Broodmother fight be the final thing that we do. Uh, on sure. Show. We only got 20 minutes left. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Okay, so uh, for those of you who usually watch our stream, this is going to be a, a little bit of a new thing. Uh, we're planning on uh, breaking the stream into two separate videos. Uh, and so this is going to be the end of this first video of us sort of exploring uh, the latest the latest update for Grounded, uh, you know, and, and sort of following Eric and Shyla around. Uh, but if you're watching this live, we're going to continue on and do the question and answer segment before fighting the big old broodmother. Uh, so if you're watching this uh, later on YouTube, you're going to need to click a link over here in order to continue to that Q&A segment. It's going to be a separate video, and this video is going to end in like 10 seconds. So I'm just going to stare awkwardly into the screen. You can subscribe <laughs> nice. too if you want to.